Yo guys, what's up? It's Wolf here, one and only. It's been a while since I uploaded an over overhead video. Uh, mostly been playing this on stream. If you guys don't know my Twitch name, it is Twitch. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Wolf Knows No Bounds. So you guys can easily find me there. Mostly been streaming overhead and... Okay, Damien, can you calm down, man? <laughs> and Kami Project R. So yeah, both mostly been streaming those two games for the past two days. Has been overhead. So yeah, we made a lot of progress in the I think the first two days. No, because I logged in all the time. Uh, how many days has it been? Okay, this is the fourth day, and I made like a pretty decent amount of progress. I guess I'll show you guys all my heroes. Actually, I think that'll be easier. Everything I've gathered. <laughs> So, I got these two. This character. And this character out of a double summon. So, I just summoned and got both of them in like that one summon. This character is actually really good. But, I need copies. She's not going to last long in my team if I don't have actual copies of her. Since I'm pretty far in content right now. But I was using TZ for a while. I had to take her out just because I now have an attacker that's above her power. And it's this character right here. The media. So, yeah. I actually done with her in her uh, uncapping. I just need to upgrade and put in skills and abilities. So yeah, that's going to be fun. I've mostly been working on Ash. Ash is my biggest priority as a double SR right now. Because this man is like really damn powerful for a free to play character. <laughs> like the starting main character is actually OP on the start off. It doesn't take any like awakening or anything like that in normal games to like make him strong. He's already strong. <laughs> Sophia is also a really, really good healer as well. So you probably want to keep on to her. And the best tank that you pretty much start out with for free is this one that you definitely want to finish and max out. So many people have already told me that he's like extremely good. I've been using Damien more though. Just because right now Damien is above him and I wasn't really thinking about that tank. Because uh, I went with stealing HP and dealing damage and healing both self and another ally instead of just defending and healing two people. That was literally my mindset. And so far, he's not half bad, to be honest. And that blind, you're definitely going to need to upgrade that success rate. That's going to be the most crucial thing. And you're definitely going to need his, uh, his grimoire. If you want this passive. Did I make him like super tanky once it, whenever I get his grimoire? All the other characters that are SRs I'm slowly putting together because <laughs> it ain't no joke in gold, man. 50 gold just to un uncap a character. Even if it is like double S and SR. Yeah, it's still going to cost 50 gold, and that is a struggle, man. I haven't even seen this character's skills. Fixed damage. Ooh, a bleed to four enemies. Okay. But so far, I've been seeing people try to build, like, bleeding and burn teams. With a little bit more side effects... At the moment, I'm basically just building anything I have most copies for. Like, if I have a lot of copies, I'll put them together. Just like this character, I'm going to be using her for uh, Fafnir. So, that's going to be fun. Pretty much takes away a buff and deals extra damage to dark units. So, I'm going to be using her as my main DPS for that raid. So that should be fun. Oh, she's still in here in this team. Whoops. Let me go ahead and change that out. 
yeah, that's my max team for now. It will slowly change over time. But yeah, I definitely want to, to do an upgrade video. Yeah, update video. <laughs> also made a guild as well. To be honest, I wasn't even really thinking about making a guild. But as you know, I went for it. Okay, so... A new day is at 4 o'clock p.m. Eastern. Okay, note it. Just in case anybody needs to know that. Okay, so what was this reward? Oh, the free summon? Oh, shit, dude. Let's do a summon. See what we get. Kind of waiting for this event to be over, but we got like... Hold on, what's, what's today? Second, okay, we got like 10 more days, right? Yeah, 9 more days. Well, no, 10, technically. 10 more days until um, we can get that for free. Mostly keep my friendship points just because that basically gives me more AP. Oh, God, hiccups. But yeah. Me and other people who have been in my stream are addicted. <laughs> like, this game is, like, really fun so far. And team building is, like, really interesting. But everybody else in the guild along with me is addicted to all this. This is pretty easy. This one's just basically RNG. Okay, let's see. Got that one done. But yeah, if you guys are ever bored and just want to come in and chill in the stream, feel free. You guys actually helped me pass the time a lot quicker. I think I have mostly resources for like water right now. And they want me to get to 1210. But yeah, I've been mostly trying to do a whole bunch of my. Whoops. I've been trying to do a whole bunch of my guide right now. I'm also doing this now and then. Whenever I had the downtime, I would just put this into fire mode and just wake up, have a whole bunch of it to just start. Racking them all in there. I should be able to get that done. Right now, I think I'm stuck here. Or I was stuck here. Hold on, let's see if we can beat that now. With this team. Everybody's in the right place, right? Yeah. Alright, let's see. Oh, God, no, did it crash? Yeah, over it crashes a lot at times, especially when it goes through, like, animations for me. At least on this phone. I don't know why, though. It's weird. Like, just that issue happens, like, every now and then, but not, like, too often. It's, it's like, hey, dude, you want to do a whole three-hour gaming session without me, you know, crashing? Or do you just want, like, you know, hold up, how many... <laughs> been like nine minutes he's just like hey you want nine minutes of gameplay so i can crash and you can get the whole three hours <laughs> like geez it's funny because they already have they're already putting in skins in the game but they're just like color variations which is pretty nice either way Okay, let's go do the summon first before I go back and try that again. They also don't have a friendship summon for your friend points, so just keep that in mind. Oh, I didn't pick it up, did I? Yeah, it's a delicious tin summon. 
And for some reason, this game has a takes a while to update itself too. So when you would just get rewards and claim them, it takes it a while to pop up inside of here. I don't know what that is. All right, these are lowers, right? Okay, no, they're just normal. So I'm gonna get the fire ones for Ash. Oops, this went back down here. But as you can see, it's still one. So I gotta go back. Or I just have to tap off and tap back on. Sure, well, that works too. <laughs> but your best bet, oh, we got a double S R. But I can definitely say it's best to use your SRs instead of your double SRs until you can expand them a little bit more with uncaps. So your priorities, build SRs because they're the easiest one to fully uncap and get stronger. And so you can uncap your double SRs into like, I want to say, uncap plus like two or three at least. Which will happen naturally over time, so don't stress too much. The SRs are just as good as the double SRs. Alright, give it that SR. Which one is it? Okay, I have that character. Oh, the dark. Who is it? Oh, okay. I already have you. I can uncap you. Sweet. I'll take it. That's why I always like getting duplicates so I can just finish them out. Well, like TZ, but you know, hey, that's good too. Oh, yeah, uncapping for like double SRs is 100k. Oh boy, my pockets. <laughs> that's not something you like seeing. All right, self self crease, self crit increase, and blind to one target. Fifty percent chance. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. So I get additional damage if they're blind. If I have my grimoire, but I don't have a grimoire, so feels bad. He's not gonna be strong into to then. Let's see what everybody else is saying about him, though. Ah, so they gave him a lower score in PvE. Actually, that crit team is not too bad, but I'm pretty sure you can find somewhat better. You still not have that character, though. That's for sure. But TZ's leader, that guy is definitely right. TZ's leader, leader is actually really good. But let's try that stage once again before I crash, do you know? But yeah, it's been troublesome trying to get up to this point. I haven't even gotten to um, hard mode yet. I think I stopped at 11.5. I gotta get to 11.10 after this video. Not sure how much time I would have for like 11.10 during this video. Alright, let's lower defense. But yeah, we do have fire units in here. So it's not going to be too effective. Like, soon I want to make, like, a whole win team. Alright, 
But that's going to be troublesome right now. Why? Why do you have to hit him? Can you, can you not? Really? Come on. I best I'll just use uh, 10 coins. But yeah, I didn't know this was water. Maybe I wasn't paying attention at all. It made it up to this point somehow. <laughs> I do have another wind unit I can actually raise right now, though. Who are you going to bring back? Bring back a uh, Necroid, please. Thank you. That is fantastic. Yeah, do your best, Nekoroid. Okay, we're going to use this skill next. Yeah, I know these guys hit, like, really hard, so I got to be careful. Yep, there it is. I think I should be fine now. Ah, thank you, Ash. Nice block. Like I said in my stream, I love how block just completely blocks damage and just completely saves you. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice, nice. Okay, at least we made it to two star. But yeah, if you guys are wanting to help me out and expand the guild, it is just lazy. For some reason, team is a bad word, so you can't put that in, you know? So, no team lazy. <laughs> yeah, that, that's a bad word. You can't use that one. Okay. So we got it. Let's go ahead and try to get some more of her shards. But yeah, most of people don't realize that you can only get 40 shards of this character. You don't actually get the character just by finishing this event because 40 shards don't isn't enough because you need 50 shards to make this character. So yeah, keep that in mind. You can only reset it up to four times, and that's it. So, you better get to grinding, man. Ain't gonna be that easy to get her. But every stage just gives you um, two essence. No, uh, two tickets. So, it really doesn't matter where you farm. It's just that the further in, you get more XP. That's about it. So, you could just farm on the first stage and just, you know, be golden. Or you could farm on... Story 5. Story 5 is probably the best place to farm. Just because you can get... Um... Okay, move out the way. Because you can get these uh, water catalysts. From fighting the final stage on the story. Because that's literally where I've been grinding. As for raids, uh, I'm able to beat 
four stock. Yeah, f level four raids. Well, no, I'm able to get like either 70 to 80 percent of four star raids. I keep saying four star level four raids right now. So that's been pretty easy so far. Because normally it the raids just jump up in damage and HP like really easily. As for uh, Untamed, I can easily solo that one at four. I'm not sure about five yet because you can only get two of those coins, which is kind of unfortunate. But yeah, I wouldn't even recommend getting the fake cores because they don't give you the passive. They only give you the stats. The passives you're going to have to either grind for or something. Because I don't think you can get those through there. There's another way of getting it. Just summoning gear. You can get a selector, I think. Oh, let me go back and try to confirm that. Yeah. Once you get 300 summons, you get a selector for an actual grimoire, not the false one. You can just choose whichever skill you want. For me, I'm kind of eyeing Necroroid's um, passive. But yeah, everything else, so far, we've gotten through Masters during these four days it's now the fifth day technically now yeah and the only difficult one for me right now in here is this one everything else I can finish inside a master as for dimensional gate I'm still farming ash trying to get him done but a master is just too strong for me right now well, it was too strong for me when I was using um, TZ, but I'm not sure if using uh, Mila is going to help. We will see, though. But yeah, if you, if one thing, definitely aim for Ash. Ash is, like, really strong. Might use revives on these two stages. Just to get the rewards out of them and come down here and start farming again. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much all my progression I have going on so far. As for PvP, um, I haven't really been doing it much. I just do five and that's pretty much it. Just for the daily rewards. I don't really care about getting far in PvP. I've, you guys know I'm not a real huge PvP fan in most games so I, I tend to avoid them but yeah uh, today or yesterday whichever one I just finished expert now I had to go and try to see if I can do masters but at the final stage of expert my type my team my first team died so I put in like two leftover characters and actually was able to finish it so yeah I, I doubt I'll be able to finish Masters, but I'm going to try it out. Just, you know, test the water, see what happens. Whoops, I think I was trying to push. But yeah, I was trying to get Ashes skills ready basically I thought that was the right one no it's not those are highs but yeah one thing I can definitely say is pretty much do as much as the guide missions as you, as you can because they give you so many great rewards it's worth it it's like really worth doing So how much is this one? Whoops, that's the wrong one. 
Okay, so I would need one more copy. I mean, one more uh, skill. But yeah, I'll be getting into her abilities soon. i just been trying to max out Ash's abilities first. Speaking of which, we're halfway through his stuff. You'll probably see Ash around a lot cause just because he's one of the most top used units for mostly every content. That's at least from what a lot of people have told me and from what I've experienced. He actually isn't half bad at all. Mostly been collecting most of my essence through the um through Luna's like board. Like every dice roll you can get essence. Like I would need six here. To be honest, I could just let that go. It just waits for you to push whichever one. So don't feel like you need to be rushing to hit the first one. If you miss it, just wait. Either that or you can just save up on essence, whichever one you need. You need a four. So yeah, that's how I've been getting my essence along with uh, doing exploration. I make sure to do every last mission every single day and I've gotten this far. It doesn't really take too long to do every single mission. Most crucial ones I can say to do is everything here. You know, or you can avoid raids if you if you want to. If you don't have enough time to just drop and you want to drop one, at least drop raids. Just because those are just gears. And you can come back to that anytime. But Untamed, definitely worth doing every single day just because of the points. And plus you can get level 4 gear inside of hard mode from what people told me and helped me out with. So yeah guys, that is basically it. Hope you guys enjoy it and I will see you guys on stream. Feel free to follow me. Until then, peace out.